In this episode of Culture Corner, we're in Kangtong, a township that has a long, long history with Myanmar and Thailand, and now the capital of Eastern Shan State. Kangtong is a town in Shan State, Myanmar, around five hours' drive from the Maasai border of Thailand. Originally, the township belongs to the Thai Khen and Thai Yai people, where the latter is what we know as the Shan people. It was once a prosperous town for Chiang Mai of Thai Lana and Jing Hong of the historic capital of the former Thai kingdom of Sipsong Panna. With its strategic location, Keng Tung used to be a prominent trade path between Sipsong Panna and Lana. History has it that in the past, the center of the town was flooded and formed a large swamp, which became the name of the town, Chiang Tung or Keng Tung. It is home to various ethnic minority groups, which mostly houses Thai Khen, Shan, and the Burmese, followed by Padong from Lana and Hua minorities. Looking around, the town is rich in Buddhist culture, with temples delicately decorated, situated in nearly every corner. Residents will prepare to go and pay homage and give alms to monks in the morning, which is a usual activity in their daily lives. Keng Tung, once ruled by kings from the Lan Na back in the 13th century or around 1243 and adopted Buddhist religion from the Lan Na, it later became a British colony along with Myanmar later on. I don't know what happened to the previous kings, but when I was born, I only knew the last seven kings of Keng Tung. Some hundred years ago was the rule of Dao Mahakanan, followed by Dao Mahaprom, the son of King Mahakanan, Dao Fa Jian Kang, Dao Dong Kamfu, Dao Ratana Gong Gao in Tulang, the brother of King Gong Kamfu, until Dao Dai Luang, my father, the 40th king and the last dynasty of Keng Tung. During the colonization era, the greatest ruler of Keng Tong is known to be King Ratana Gong Gao in Tulang, or shortly known as King in Tulang. His rule was about the same time during the King Rama V of Thailand. King Intalang manages to prevent his land from being colonized by the British Empire only until his death. Thailand was then able to reclaim Kangtung from the British Empire during the World War II, led by Field Marshal Black Pibun Songkram's regime through the help of Japanese military. After he wins back Kangtung and several other townships, Field Marshal Black named it the United States of Thailand. However, it was only three years until Thailand had to return the lands after Japan lost the World War II and Kang Tung became a part of Myanmar. Now, the only evidence left of the kings of Kang Tung is placed in a small area in the inner city. I live here to protect the king's cemetery, otherwise it would fall into the kinds of the Myanmar government. If that happens, I will have no evidence left of the Kangtung dynasty. <laughs>